is going on, gents? It's RPM here. Coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man can only take so much disrespect before he finally decides today's the day. Now, this article was dropped in the comment section by James Jones, and it was published on the 10th of May. Utah man arrested for murder of ex-girlfriend after dumping her body in the desert. Wow. That sounds like something out of Casino. And you guys should definitely get that reference. A man was arrested Tuesday after police say he admitted to killing his ex-girlfriend and dumping her body in a remote area of Toole County. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! On Friday, the Toole County Sheriff's Office received a report that someone had found a dead body in the Five Mile Pass area, a popular location for off-roading. Deputies responded and confirmed that the body was that of a young woman, but there was no identification. They processed the scene and collected evidence, some of which helped them arrest an alleged accomplice in the case. Uh-oh! The sheriff's office had been contacted that same day by the Salt Lake City Police Department regarding 23-year-old Brooklyn Tyree, who was reported missing. The two agencies worked together, and based on security footage from Tyree's apartment building in Salt Lake City earlier that week, they matched the clothes she was wearing to those on the body and concluded that it was her. The footage from May 3rd showed Tyree and her seven-month-old child getting into a vehicle with 28-year-old Brandon Zipperly, her ex-boyfriend and father of the child. My, my, gentlemen, the plot thickens. Police brought Zipperly in for an interview and secured search warrants for his apartment and his vehicle. According to Toole County Sheriff Paul Wimmer, Zipperly admitted to shooting and killing Tyree. Court documents state that an autopsy concluded that Tyree was shot. He also admitted to pawning the gun he used and disposing of Tyree's personal belongings. Very interesting. Now, why would he be so ready to admit what he did? Hmm. We'll get to the, a possible motive after the article. When searching his apartment, police said they found a shoe that matched a footprint at the scene where Tyree's body was found. The shoe belonged to Zipperly's fiance, 28-year-old Elizabeth Ludwig, who was also brought in for questioning. Ludwig admitted that she helped Zipperly move Tyree's body and get rid of some of her personal property. Well, 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 this definitely adds more to the plot. Police said both of them made these confessions after being informed of their Miranda rights. Police also wrote in a probable cause statement that both suspects' phones were in the five 
Mile Pass area on May 3rd. Very interesting that they can track your cell phone, but we all know that. Zippoli was arrested for murder and obstruction of justice, and Ludwig was arrested for obstruction of justice. Tyree's baby boy is in the custody of the Utah Division of Child and Family Services. Gentlemen, didn't we always tell you that the kids actually belong to the state? You're nothing more than a glorified babysitter. Hey, it is what it is. It truly is what it is. But anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, sounds like it went, out, went down in the desert. Gotta go with a five. Method of execution, he used a burner. So I gotta go with a five on that one. Psychological impact. I'm going to give this one a five. And for the brutality factor. Hey, I got to give this one a five. So, Burner Brandon gets a score of 20. Now, what could have possibly been the motive? Well, could be wrong, but... They got a seven-month-old child. He's got a fiance. Hmm. We all know what happens when you have a child with a woman and for whatever reason, you guys are no longer together. What's going to happen? That baby mama's going to be bitter as hell. Now, could be wrong. However, if he's going to marry another woman, you know damn well that bitter baby mama is more than likely going to put him on child support. And when you look at the man's mug shot, he doesn't seem quite like the guy who would be able to pay child support. I'm just saying, once again, I could be wrong. However, we all know how this goes down. And the fact that that his fiance was willing to help him out? Yeah, there was definitely some bad blood somewhere in this whole scenario. But whatever his reasons, he decided to take matters into his own hands. And we're left with the act. Oh, well, read the rest of the article. Let me know what you guys think. And ladies, in particular, you toxic ass baby mamas, the power will eventually go out. Feminism and all the social protection you think you have will go out right along with it. Because once again, as it has been clearly demonstrated, excuse me, once you push a man over the edge, that man has decided that you've become the bane of his existence. And what is he going to do? Take matters into his own hands. He's in jail. You're in the ground. It is what it is. So to him, his greatest problem in life has been solved. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am Murder on my mind, yeah Losing all my hope, yeah I'ma do the crime, yeah Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill